Oh, there's a big... Oh, great. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Month of Discovery. Today on the agenda is XS8. Lacrimosa of Donna. Sorry if I butchered the name. It seems to be a JRPG. And it, I like the style of it. But of course I would. We want to enjoy the story and the gameplay. Perfect for those who struggle with action games. For those who desire the thrill of engaging action, recommended for experienced players, an extremely unreasonable difficulty meant for true masters, a cruel, merciless difficulty, empty bottles are consumed, item limits are reduced, enemies are faster, and more. No thank you, I'm gonna go with normal. Because I'm just trying it out right now. Display tips on the loading screen during map, map transitions. Loading times will slightly increase. I see. Eh, hopefully not by that much. The category you set now can be changed during the game via the options menu. That's good. Let's try it. Everything's worth trying once. We are not the tools of any higher power. Each of us is the very embodiment of free will. Yes. We are our own man. Even so, there comes a time in every man's life when he must answer a call to destiny beyond human understanding. How will you respond when that moment strikes you? Truly, nothing is more awe-inspiring than one who unceasingly pushes himself beyond the threshold or something. I had hoped to embody such an ideal myself, even now, many decades later. My offer her remains unwavering. Adel Christian, preface to Travelogue of the Gate Sea. That's kind of beautiful, actually. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's start. The Isle of Siren, or Siren, however you pronounce that. It probably wouldn't have an E if it was pronounced Siren. Southeast Greek, the Gate Sea. Then again, that sounds like it should be Gate. Maybe it's just spelling. Peculiar spelling. I mean, unless there's voice acting and someone actually says it. Lombardia. Lombardia. Passenger liner. Lombardia. That's a nice ship right there. The orange sails are a nice touch. Everything looks so colorful. But I mean, it's anime style, so of course it's going to be colorful, but, you know. With how many games have muted colors and even brownish colors? It's always good to see such vibrance, you know? It's, it's eye candy. Adel Christian. Is that us? Is that the main character? Oh, Adel. You taking a break too? Oh, there is voice acting. Adel. Woo, what a nice breeze. That guy sounds familiar. Then again, he probably would. Doggy. Or doggy. Doggy sounds better. Good doggy. I believe how suffocating it gets in the cargo hold. Gotta say, that uniform looks pretty good on you. Awfully nice of him to let us hitch a ride to Aresia in exchange for work. They got me moving cargo around, and you helping out as a sailor on this voyage. And they're even paying and feeding us, too. Pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. Hell yeah, man. We should thank the captain. We should save up while we can. We need to thank the captain. Yeah. Man, that Captain Barbaros. He looks intimidating, but he's a good man. Dependable, too. Thanks to him, we'll be able to hit the next stop on our journey once we dock. I'm a little sad we gotta say goodbye to Sandria. But there's no time to be moping when adventure's waiting for us. Adventure! I am the Adventure Sphere! Uh, quick, situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Good. Me too. Only shame the ocean isn't a little more bumpy. Prologue, Night on the Gate Sea. I can't wait. I'm probably not gonna get past the prologue because 30 minutes. Real shame. So, Adam, 
What is our next stop anyway? Once we dock in Sunyan, Greek is just around the bend. Wherever the wind may take us, I'm still trying to decide. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide. <laughs> You're getting older. You still get a glint in your eye just thinking about adventure. Would he have said the same thing either way? Because it sounds like that would have fit for both. If you ask me, I would have preferred heading west, along the coast of Africa. Whoa, whoa! Are you guys voyaging to Altago? Afroca? Ah, can't you? Gizentite. Kathew! Kathew! <laughs> Sorry, had to. <laughs> you bet we are. You bet your ass. Adol has always been looking for a way to get to Altago. Unbelievable! You do know about the conflict between the Kingdom of Altago and the Roman Empire, don't you? Roman Navy vessels are pretty much the only ships that can enter that region of the sea. <laughs> Heard that you're an adventurer. That just seems reckless. Yeah, well, there's never a dull moment when I'm tagging along with this guy. Adel can't walk more than three steps without stepping in some kind of adventure. I wonder if this was on the PS2 or something, because... That chain keep... well, that loop keeping that rope in place... It looks a little low-poly, is all I'm saying. What do you say, Kathy? You like tagging along, too? Or maybe it was on the iPhone, who knows? <laughs> thanks, but I'll pass. 3DS? Anyway, you two, break time's almost over. I should look into that. Maybe it's just because it's an indie game. Dogi, I need you to get back to work in the cargo hold. Back on the clock already, huh? No problem. I'll head down right now. Actually, it might not be an indie game. Get you later, Adol. That voice acting is way too professionally done to be an indie game. Or at least a small-time indie game. Uh, should I help out in the cargo hold, too? No, Dogi can handle the rest of the work on his own. Hmm, please go see Captain Barbaros. He told me to send you to his quarters once your job was finished. Okay. The captain's quarters can be found at the quarter deck, near the stern of the ship. You got it, buddy. Let's do it. Press this to move, approach character, and press left click. Press left click when the search examine appears. Attack, jump, target, click. I'd rather right click, but, um. Oh, right click is to evade. Cool. I'd rather use space to evade, but I guess that's jumping. I think so confusing. Nice. Hey, buddy. Yes. We have an important passenger staying in this room. The captain has instructed me not to let anyone inside. If you're looking around the ship, you might want to look elsewhere. This room is reserved for honored guests. You cannot enter. Can I just peek inside the window to see who's in there? The door leads below deck. Go to the captain's quarters near the stern of the ship. Fine. Spoil sport. Okay. Hey, just getting near it doesn't mean I want to go in it. I thought accompanying my father on his business trip would be more interesting. Instead, I watched a bunch of grown men suck up to each other. It was pathetic. Oh, what a waste of time. Heh, <laughs> funny. Hmm. We won't be seeing land again for a while. It's a bittersweet feeling, really. Haha, <laughs> but I'm happy to have you aboard helping us out, Adel. Anyway, you should really go see Captain Barbaros. The captain's quarters are located at the quarter deck, near the stern of the ship. Thanks, Mom. I'll be fine. Bearing north, northeast! Hey, buddy. Yeah. Looks like we got clear skies and calm waters ahead of us. I gotta say, it's unusual for a voyage to go this smoothly. Maybe you and Dogi are good luck charms. Engage! I am fully charged. Schnell! Ah, Adol. Thank you for coming. Please, have a seat. You can tell they're important because they are full, fully voice acted. Not everyone's voice acted, though. Captain Barbaros! At your service. He's a man's man. Look at that beard. That as mustache. I recall, you introduced yourself to me as an adventurer. Yeah. I noticed your beard is clipping through your scarf. Tell me, do you know of the Isle of Sarah? Um, uh, I've heard of it. Yes. 
Very impressive. The Gate of Sea is home to many islands, as you're no doubt aware. Gate of Sea, okay, so there's an uh to it. Gate of Sea. She's a treacherous sea to navigate. More ships than I can count have run afoul of her jagged islands. But the Isle of Saren has a particularly fearsome reputation. For you see, every ship that approaches the island sinks by some mysterious happenstance. Okay, um, every ship sinks, sir? Yes, its surrounding waters are perilous to navigate, but that alone does not explain why so many ships sink. That is unsettling. Maybe we should go back now. About five years ago, a Roman vessel conducting an exploratory voyage approached the island. The sea was calm that day, and ran afoul of nothing, yet I heard it was pulled under all the same. Grecian mythology speaks of monsters called Sailors, which lure ships to their doom. The pirates who first discovered that island declared it cursed ground, and named it accordingly. Indeed. Is there any way to go ashore? Maybe. Hmm. I didn't expect you to ask that. <laughs> You're expecting me to turn tail and run, right? Unfortunately, no one alive knows the answer to that question. The unlucky ones who have set foot on the island were never seen or heard from again. Even the saltiest sailors to voyage the Gate of Sea could tell you nothing about the island. That's unfortunate. I'd at least like to see it. I cannot approach the island, but when we pass by it, I will let you know. Thank you. It seems my tale did not but stoke the fires of your adventurous spirit. Hell yeah, let's go die! I mean, let's go adventuring! I share this tale with every new member of my crew. When I first told Catherine, he was so frightened that he refused to leave his quarters. But I see you're made of sterner stuff than he, lad. Mm. Thank you, sir. Um... <laughs> now then, I'm sorry to keep you so long, but I have a favor to ask of you. I insist on holding a small welcome party whenever new passengers come aboard. I want you to attend the party and provide security. Okay. Security? Are you worried about something? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm merely being cautious. As captain, it's my responsibility to ensure that every passenger aboard my ship is safe. Please, speak to Cathy for the details about your assignment. I know you won't let me down. Good evening, passengers. I'm Captain Barbaros. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Lombardia for your seafaring needs. With four masts, and at 50 melia in length. This vessel is the largest of the passenger ships that voyage between Zandria and Aresia. Alright, Abdul, since you're providing security, let's go over your responsibilities. I need you to patrol the passenger compartment and the main deck. Keep a close watch for any passengers who seem suspicious or dangerous. Is someone dangerous aboard? It's possible, after all, we have a lot of guests aboard on this voyage. Make sure you chat them up, you might hear some interesting stories that way. But don't forget that these people are our guests, so please be respectful towards them. <laughs> fine. I guess I won't be a dick. Aye aye, sir. Well, aren't you enthusiastic? Anyway, looks like the captain's almost done with his speech. I'll do my part and start patrolling the cargo hold. We'll meet up later, Adol. 
Okay. Anyway, that's enough out of me. I know I'm making him sound more, more uh, masculine than he actually is, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna go with my own voice. Please feel free to mix and mingle among yourselves as we continue on our voyage. I want to give him a gruff older voice. I bid you all a wonderful evening. Okay, camp menu, saving and loading, uh, all that good stuff. Probably not going to get into any fights before this is over, but hey. Hey, man. Good thing I made it on board. But where the hell is that damn fool? If I had known this was going to happen, I would have arranged to meet up beforehand. What are you talking about? <laughs> huh? Looks like we're supposed to eat while standing. <laughs> I assume this means we can eat as much as we want. Time to eat, eat. Eat till I make it back, make back the ticket price. You got it. As you can see, there are people from all walks of life aboard the Lombardia. You can tell who the big shots are by how fancy they're dressed. This ship accepts all passengers, though. Hello. Hmm, <laughs> in all my years, I never thought I would get to travel aboard such a magnificent ship. And the food is simply to die for. I have nothing to, but praise to offer. Watch it be her, because she's the she's the unassuming old lady. <laughs> or maybe her. Hmm, thanks to my husband, we enjoy a very nice trip abroad. And now we're heading home on this marvelous ship. I feel like the luckiest girl in all of your Eurasia. Eurasia. Sorry, I'm butchering names. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I admit I was a little nervous about traveling by ship. But we had a lovely trip and my wife looks so happy right now, so it was all worth it. I hope this feeling lasts forever. I hope it lasts forever too, but sadly that's not to be. Foppish young man. Mmm, -hmm. sharing a feast with Commodores is more pleasant than I had expected. This blending of unconventional elements has all the makings of a masterpiece. Ah yes, I understand now, there is more to the Lombardia than meets the eye. Wow, unexpectedly nice. He, he wasn't acting like a complete prick. What do you know? Uh, uh, I feel bad for my family that I boarded such a luxurious ship, but it was the only one available. I think I'll make it up to them by recreating all the meals being served tonight. Hmm, I guess I better start studying the menu. Hmm. Phew, this wine is the definition of mediocre. You there! What are you standing there for? You should be bringing me a fine meal. I'd heard this was a fine passenger ship, but it re barely reeks the lower class. It's him. I, I don't. I don't care if it's him or not. I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna pretend it's him so that I can have an excuse to throw him overboard or something. <laughs> I'm sure you already know, but I'm only allowed to serve drinks to passengers right now. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be plenty of alcohol left over though. Once we're done working, we'll toss back a few like we always do. You got it. Okay. I can't believe how worked up these stupid adults are getting over a party. Ah, this is boring me to sleep. Maybe I'll explore the cargo hold. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Okay, that's everybody. Oh, adult, patrol duty, huh? Doesn't happen too often, but sometimes we get stowaways. Anyway, you be careful tonight. I guess I'd better go this way. I'd probably talk to enough people. Okay. On patrol, huh? You look lost to me. This is the stern of the ship. The banquet hall and the captain's quarters are located here. If you want to head down to the cargo hold, take the stairs to the bow of the ship. Okay, you got it, buddy. Thanks for the tip. I talked to everybody in the party, so I'm good. For that up there. Oh, wait. Nope. No, 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 no. Let's just run. I can't imagine I'm allowed in... Okay, I am allowed in these rooms. Huh. Must be for the staff, of which I am one of. Oh, hello. Yes. I've been traveling across the Gaete Sea, visiting different locales to spread the teachings of the church. My parish church is, lo is based in Greek, which I have not returned to in two years. I'm sure the children there have grown so much. I can't wait to their faces again. I hope you have a fun, fun time. I hope you have a nice time, lady. Have a good one. Okay, anyone else in here? Or is the nun... Is the late? Is the fine lady the only one? Oh, Maine? What do you want? 
You look suspicious. <laughs> Let's just go out and go ahead and say it. You look suspicious. Yes. Hmph, I won't deny that. But I don't waste my time on people who just barge into rooms without even knocking first. So unless you have business with me, get out. And make sure you shut the door behind you. Quietly. This guy is it. Gee, I wonder who's gonna be in. Now, if it was the unassuming old lady or the nun or something, that would genuinely be surprising, but, uh, the way things are going, it's probably the guy in black. Yes. Some noble from Rome is staying in this first-class cabin. I'm getting real sick of this guy demanding we bring him more food. Who does he think we are? Servants? Man, this sucks. I get you. I had a talk when, with the guy. Oh, hello, lady. No. Oh, why is he aboard this ship? My word, he always treats me like I'm a helpless child. Who? Who's aboard this ship that's treating you like a child? I could help you with that. I mean, uh, if there are a few broken bones, <laughs> who? What's a few broken bones between friends, huh? What's up? Hey, how'd you manage to get out of work in the galley? What? Patrol duty? Hmm. Sounds like the perfect job for you. Adventuring, huh? I mean, we're still trying to figure out where to go for our next big adventure. You'll probably hear some interesting stories while you're patrolling this big old ship. Who knows, maybe you'll hear something that'll lead to our next adventure. <laughs> Let me know if you hear anything interesting. Just a few assholes. You know, nothing to worry about. I assure you. Most of the people are nice, though. Just, uh, mostly that one guy. <laughs> Just saying. But that's beside the point. Yes. This compartment contains the third-class cabins and sailors' sleeping quarters. Oh, it's you, Idol. I heard you're on patrol duty. How are you liking it so far? Once you're finished, you'll be done with your work for the day. Just a little more to go. Yeah, I mean, I've been patrolling. Save game shortcut. Ah, oh, cool. That's nice. Let's save, I guess. I mean, I don't really need to. It's not going to matter in the slightest. But, you know, it might do me good. Hello. Do you need any help with anything? Um. Hi, everything looks good. No problem passages either. At all. If anything's going to go wrong, it's apt to happen on the day we weigh anchor. Should be smooth sailing all around, but how about making the rounds anyway? I mean, I did look everywhere. I don't know what el who else to talk to uh... aside from... Ah, uh, we finally set sail. They just asked me to come aboard all of a sudden. Maybe I should have declined. It's not like I can hop off halfway. Uh, I hope I don't have to do anything too demanding. Okay. You gonna be okay, buddy? You gonna be okay? Hope so. You're a pal, man. I need for anything to happen to you. Oh, look. Cute. Adorable, even. Actually, no, I wouldn't go that far, but cute! Cute, definitely! Just not, you know, adorable. But cute. Let's not go crazy now. Well, um, I've talked to everybody. That I can think of. Maybe I need to go further up the stairs or something. Let's go up the stairs. Maybe the second, maybe there's a second floor or something. Oh, mini map. Cool. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, I see. No. A real voyage begins at night when visibility is brought nearly zero. All the passengers are partying in the banquet hall. We gotta stay on our toes and do our job. Glad to have you aboard, Adel. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hello. Ah, uh, the night breeze is a lovely change of pace from Rome's stagnant air. Oh, hello. Hmm. hmm. You look like you know how to handle a sword. Haha, <laughs> never mind. The night is so calm and quiet, and there are other things we can talk about instead. I hope your patrol finishes soon so you can relax for the evening. Sure. I mean, I'd be up for that if you just want to talk or something. I'd be cool with that. Hello. Working through the night is tough. Uh, I can't wait till my sh shift change. The room is reserved for honored guests. You cannot enter. Right. I guess I still can't enter that. Let's see. We are en route to Sonyan Port, but it will be a few days before we finally arrive. Hmm, if time permits, I would very much like to hear tales of your adventures, lad. In the meantime, continue your patrol. You got it. You hear a voice coming from the captain's quarters. 
Oh, this is... What a great find. Now I'm part of the crew, too. Enter the captain's quarters. What's going on here? What sort of mischievous is going on? You there. Ahem. Oh, it's you. You must be the newbie on board, huh? I may not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty seasoned sailor myself. You sure about that? Anyway, I'm gonna report to the captain. Why don't you tidy up or something? Ha ha ha! Yes, ma'am? Wait a minute. Well, what? You probably can't tell, but I'm very busy. We'll run away! She was trying to steal something. We got a thief! The little girl ran off somewhere. We got a thief on our hands! It's time to kick some tail, break some skulls, and... It's a kid. Maybe I should calm down a little. No, I say, we get even more violent. I don't know. I'm sure she's somewhere. Exclamation mark. <laughs> the breeze feels nice. Great weather and a clear starry sky. Wait for me, my darling Crete. I'm coming home. Okay, I guess that was an important guy to talk to. Stronger. Check our okay. course. Set sail. Awesome. So we're we're here. Everything is where it needs to be. Cool. Oh look, she's still here. Are you still enjoying the sight? Ah, I see. Okay. Thank you for the confidence or something. Hey, Adol, how's the security patrol going? Everyone seems suspicious. <laughs> really? I know we have a lot of interesting people aboard, but I think you're acting a little paranoid. Looks like it's going to be another day of calm waters and smooth sailing. By the way, the captain has been looking for you. I think he said we we're about to pass by something soon. He should be back in his quarters by now. Why don't you pay him a visit? I'll go see him right away. Sounds good, Adol. I'll continue my patrol for a little while longer. I mean, as long as you're okay with me not patrolling anymore, I will use any excuse, especially because I've only got three minutes left of this video. And I want something to happen as immediately as possible. You gotta understand. I want something to happen besides just walking around and talking to people. Not to say they aren't good people to talk to, but... You know, I want something exciting to happen. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm sorry to bother you. I understand how busy you are right now. I just wanted to let you know that we're about to pass by it. You mean... Hmm, that's right, the Isle of Siren. The sky is clear tonight, so you may be able to see the island's silhouette. The Isle of Siren is about 500 square Kremale. A mountain range roughly 2,000... Melee high stretches across the island center. Since we're about to pass by, I figured you'd want to see it. Uh oh, this is where things get crazy. Huh? huh? What's happening? I don't know, sir. We seem to have run afoul of something. You mean there's talking now? Impossible. We're in open waters. Assess the situation at once. Aye, aye, sir. <sighs> We're quite a distance from the island. It couldn't be. Ah! Wh what uh -oh. is that? Huh? What's? Sorry, I may have skipped through too fast, but I'm I'm eager. Right at the cannons. I'm sorry, but can you go see what's happening on the deck? Watch your footing out there. You got it, sir. I'll go a little uh, over because I just want to see what's going to happen. I want some action. A tentacle. Oh, that's what good. Is that thing? I'm getting Skyward Sword vibes. <laughs> At this rate, the ship will be destroyed. Yeah. Very astute observation. Tentacle. Might want to get out of the way. It's even barbed, too.
Uh, that's not good. That's not good at all, matey. Mystery of the Gate AC. Tentacle of the Unknown. Holy crap. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Oh, Isayo, Isayo's blade was received and equipped. Why does it sound like the Metroid theme? Friggin' tentacles. Well locked on. Take this, tentacle of the unknown. Take this. Hey, no fair. I was evading and everything. Hey. You stand still already. Come on. Nice, a flash move. You're going down, tentacle. You bastard. Oh, you have to rest, huh? Too bad for you. Oh, shit. Well, that's a, that's a shame. You're losing a lot of health, aren't you? Do a jump attack. Ah, darn it. Come on, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Damn you. Okay, there we go. I can do more. I can do damage even when it's on top. Nice. Aerial attack. Now take this. The tentacle is down. Repeat, the tentacle is down. Take that, you freaky tentacle. Thou shalt kill the tentacle. Aren't you a skilled one? Wow. So dashing. That was amazing! Thank you, m'lady. And child and douchebag. Nice work. I can always count on you, Adol. What was that thing anyway? It was a tentacle. Looked like a tentacle from some kind of giant squid. Yeah. Uh... Oh, there's a big... Oh, great. Another one? Well, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to go. Once this is over, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like tentacles. I'm gonna keep going, I'm just doing the outro now. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day.
That was impressive. Not gonna lie, I love that. Chapter 1, The Isle of Siren. Unfortunately, I have to end this here. Real shame. This is one of these games for Stadia that I would actually like to keep playing if I could. But I don't have enough time. So, see you later. Go away, Mr. Krabs. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.